Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we are going to take a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Thank you all so much for your get well wishes yesterday. I am still fighting off this cold, so I apologize if I'm sounding a little stuffed up, but we're going to push through. Let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures have slipped to the red as investors have turned their attention to the Federal Reserve's decision over ending pandemic stimulus. The latest Fed meeting went underway today and we're expected to hear from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell tomorrow. Currently, we have Dow futures down 0.03%, S&P 500 futures down 0.07%, while Nasdaq futures are down 0.2%. McDonald's is the latest to jump on the big NFT trend, as they'll be giving away 10 exclusive McRib NFTs. The limited edition sandwich returned to McDonald's menus on November 1st. To celebrate the meal's 40th anniversary, McDonald's will be choosing 10 people to receive this exclusive McRib NFT by just retweeting McDonald's invitation tweet. They're valuing the McRib NFT at $20 each. The McDonald's stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside just shy of 10%. Coca-Cola announced that it has acquired the remaining 85% of sports performance and hydration beverage company Body Armor in a deal worth $5.6 billion. They acquired the initial 15% of the company in 2018. The complete acquisition of Body Armor will enable Coca-Cola to strengthen its sports drink offerings. Post-acquisition, the Coca-Cola bottling system will continue to distribute Body Armor. The Coca-Cola stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 9%. Cybersecurity tech company CrowdStrike Holdings announced that it has agreed to acquire software as a service based cybersecurity service provider, Secure Circle. The financial terms of the deal have been kept under wraps. With large scale expertise in cloud delivered endpoint and workload protection, CrowdStrike's acquisition of Secure Circle will allow users to enforce zero trust at the device level, the identity level, and the data level, which will be delivered through CrowdStrike's lightweight. Falcon agent on the endpoint. Further, CrowdStrike Zero Trust Assessment will enable dynamic risk mitigation for customers. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 17%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we're still waiting to hear from Corsair Gaming, Ferrari, and Under Armour. And in the after hours, we'll be hearing from Digital Turbine, Zillow, T-Mobile, and Lyft. Just this morning, we heard from Pfizer, who came in with stronger than expected earnings for their third quarter. Pfizer had adjusted earnings of $1.34 per share, which was an 86% increase from last year and well ahead of the estimates of $1.09. Their group revenues nearly doubled from last year to $24.1 billion, again topping analyst estimates of $22.71 billion. Around $13 billion of the top line came from vaccine sales. They also boosted their full-year profit forecast and lift their vaccine sales estimate to around $36 billion. Their stock is currently rated a hold with an average upside of 9.6%, but we haven't seen any analysts reiterate price targets following the earnings report. We also recently heard from Public Storage, who came in with solid results for their third quarter. Revenue in the quarter landed at $894.93 million, exceeding estimates of $852.54 million. Their net income came in at $2.52 per diluted share, compared to $1.41 per diluted share in the same quarter last year. During the quarter, they also spent $300 million on the acquisition of 27 self-storage facilities, bringing their total up to 107 facilities. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 1.6%. Plunging in after-hours trading was education tech company Chegg, who posted lower-than-expected revenue for their third quarter and lower-than-expected future guidance. 
They had net revenues of $171.9 million, which missed the street's estimates of $174.5 million. Their net revenues were up 12% from the same quarter last year. Meanwhile, their adjusted earnings of $0.20 cents per share came in in line with analyst expectations. The company had reported adjusted earnings of $0.17 cents per share in the same quarter last year. Their CFO said that industry headwinds emerged in North American markets late in the third quarter, and consequently the company has lowered their guidance for the fourth quarter. They now expect total revenues between $194 and $196 million. This is down from consensus estimates of $240.6 million. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 45%, but most recent ratings coming in yesterday do have a downside. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by engineered materials company Rogers after it was announced that they agreed to be acquired by DuPont for $5.2 billion. Under the ticker ROG, their stock is currently up nearly 30%. They're followed by Arista Networks under ANET. Their stock is up over 18% after they posted better than expected third quarter results and declared a four for one stock split. And Fabrinet under FN up over 12% following their Q1 earnings and revenues beat. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Chegg, who as we discussed, provided some disappointing fourth quarter guidance. Under the ticker CHGG, they're currently down at nearly 32%. They're followed by Cypher Mining under CIFR. Their stock is down over 10%, cooling off from gains of 25% yesterday. And Legend Biotech under LEGN. Their stock is down just shy of 10% after they announced an extension of their PD UFA date. So that's gonna be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.